make me wanna leave the one I'm with Start a new relationship with you This is what you do Think about it, bringing all the things that go along with You make me, you make me wanna leave the one I'm with Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions I am here in Kuta on the island of Bali, Indonesia And today I would like to talk about Bitcoin security More specifically, I'm going to talk about a website called bitaddress.org it is a free website um, and it's going to help you with security with uh, any amount of Bitcoin you don't feel comfortable keeping just on your phone or on your computer. Um, now it's very important and I've noted in other videos that if you do not control your Bitcoin, if you are leaving your Bitcoin on an exchange, technically you do not own that Bitcoin. Um, if you'd like proof of this, please take a look uh, and look up an exchange called Mt. Gox and more recently just in uh, well by the time I post this video in the past couple of weeks Bitfinex both of those exchanges were hacked and they lost people's Bitcoin that's why it's very important to store it yourself in a safe manner so bitaddress.org will help you create a paper wallet for something called cold storage. A paper wallet is just a printable Bitcoin wallet and cold storage means your Bitcoins are not accessible online to anyone without that piece of paper. So let's get started. All right, let's take a look at what we're doing here. First thing, you are going to open up your internet browser. I'll use Safari today and you're going to navigate to bitaddress.org. Now, once you arrive at the website, you're actually not going to do anything on it. You're going to save it as a file on your computer. So you're going to go up to File, you're going to hit Save As, and you're going to save it. It saves as something called a web archive. All right, um, I'm going to save it to my desktop right now. The reason we are doing this, the reason we are saving this website as a file is because the most secure way to create a paper wallet is to take this file that you've created and save it and open it on a computer that has never touched the internet. So perhaps taking this file, putting it on a USB drive and, uh, and opening it on uh, another computer. Um, the reason for this is if your computer happens to have a virus on it and be infected with any sort of malware, then somebody could be watching what you're doing and use that information to steal your Bitcoin from your wallet that you've just created. Um, hopefully that would not be the case. Uh, for today's purposes, I'm just going to use my computer, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my internet connection so you can see it works without any connection to Wi-Fi. You can see I'm not connected there. All right. Then I'm going to go over and click on that file that I've created, bitaddress.org. It will open in my browser just like normal. And then I'm going to jiggle around my cursor on the screen. And these random points that are showing up, uh, they are helping create a randomly generated address for me. You can doodle until it gets to 100%. Once it does, you can see you've got a, an address on the screen. Uh, now, I like to do this and make it look all fancy, so I'm going to show you how. If you go up and click on Paper Wallet, you can see it gives you this awesome design here. It looks just like a banknote. Um, and in this case, it's generated a few different addresses for me. Um, but you can change that. So down below, you've got some options here. If you look, you can see something that says addresses to generate. Uh, it had created three. Uh, you can see addresses per page. So there would be three on the page that you're looking at. Uh, and then over here, you have something that says encrypt. And that just means adding a password to password protect your wallet. So I'm going to create one address. I'm going to have one address show per page and I'm actually going to give it a password of I love Bitcoin. Then I'm going to hit the button generate. It takes only a moment and then you can see popping up on the screen now one address uh, and this address is password pr uh, protected. So what are we looking at here? Over on the left, this is your address. That's the QR code anybody can send money to. And this is the string of characters that also represents that address. 
When you look over on the right, this is your private key. And in normal circumstances, if somebody had that, they could spend your money. But remember, you've protected it with a password as well. Uh, down at the bottom here, you can just see Bitcoin amount. That is so when you print it off, you can jot down how much you've spent. Uh, sent to this particular address uh, if you want that for your own memory. All right, so I have printed the paper wallet that we've just made here. Uh, this is the same wallet that you will have seen on the screen just a moment ago. Um, it's sometimes a good idea to print multiple copies of your wallet and keep them in different locations so that if one of these were to get destroyed, you have backups. Uh, it's also a good idea to keep these in uh, a safe place where they won't get wet because if the QR code here, your private key, uh, were to get smudged in any way and you couldn't scan it anymore, then those funds are no longer accessible to you. So just make sure that wherever you do put this, it's safe. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to send funds to this wallet and how to spend funds from this wallet. So here we go. I'm going to be using a wallet that I've done a video on before. This wallet is called Copay. You can find it on the Apple iOS store and you can find it on Google Play for Android. So here we go. All right, let's take a look at what we're doing here. First thing, you're going to open up your Copay app. Once it has loaded to the main screen, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this circular icon to the top right, it's kinda of shaded out here. When you hit it, that will open your camera and you're gonna scan the left QR code on your wallet. That is your public key. Next, you're gonna select the amount of Bitcoin you would like to send to this wallet. Today, I am going to send five Canadian dollars to it, nice and simple. So I'm going to select my uh, the number of dollars I'd like to send, and I'm gonna hit the send button down below. This will give me one confirmation page. I hit confirm, and we have successfully loaded our funds onto this paper wallet. Now we are going to do just the opposite. We are going to take the funds off of this wallet. So in the top right, you're gonna hit your settings wheel. Then you're gonna to go to advanced and you are going to click on sweep paper wallet. Once you get here, there's that little square in the top right. You're gonna hit that, that will open up your camera and you're gonna scan the right QR code, which is your private key and from here, this is where you're gonna input that password you made up before. So I click and I'm going to type in, I love Bitcoin. Once I've input that, I'm just gonna hit scan wallet funds. And after a short loading screen, it will show me exactly how much is in this wallet. There we go, I've got 0 .006. Uh, it will show up in Bitcoin versus Canadian dollars. Uh, if I want to remove those funds to my Copay wallet, I hit sweep wallet, and right away those will be transported back to me. You can see funds received popping up on my screen, and I'll back my way out of all these uh, additional screens. And you can see there is the transaction showing that I've received my funds back into my Copay wallet. I hope this episode has been helpful to you. I encourage everybody to at least experiment with this method of Bitcoin storage. Uh, in coming episodes, I will be looking at other methods of Bitcoin security. Uh, until then, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Share this video to anybody you think could use the helpful tips. And I will see you next time on the BTC Sessions.